Hey everyone, welcome to the craft shop. Okay, I know it looks like we're at headquarters and here's the deal. I had to put up my Zoom screen with headquarters on it because here at the craft shop, what are the chances? I know, but I came down here and every single one of the little fairies from Camp Fairy Staff, they are all down here. Let's, we're talking billions of them making tiny little tie-dye shirts and tiny little gimp lanyards in preparation for VIP camp next week. And let's just say those little buggers are kind of feisty and sometimes irritating. So, I wanted to kind of block them out so that we could do our practice today. And, oh, did you see that? They're sneaky. Anyway, more on that later. Um, but I wanted to um, invite you into this amazing project we're doing today called Creating a Good Eye for Love. And this is a little craft project, but in creating it, we are going to be basically disengaging, is that what I want to say? Um, deactivating, we're deactivating the fears and the doubts that may be present with you around creating your love relationship. How does that sound? This is an amazing process. You're going to love it. And you may even want to watch this whole video and then come back with the right supplies and follow along to do the practice then. But you can do this first part with me because um, what does it mean to create a good eye for love? Okay. So it stands for get out of doubt. Good stands for get out of doubt. And um, when we're functioning and dating from fears and doubts, then the only thing we can really get is a mediocre relationship or a relationship that doesn't really match who we are. Or oftentimes it keeps us from dating altogether. So we want to put a stop to that so that you can be in a place where you are dating from your true you. And you may notice that, you know, when fears come up that, um, you know, it sweeps you away into an emotional state that's not that fun. When doubts come up, it may sweep you back into the past of when something like that happened before or, you know, really creates a chemical like funk in your being. So this process will address that. And we have another process at the camp that's going to help with that too, tomorrow when we do the unicorn ride. So, um, so I invite you to take out your journal and we're going to start listing out these doubts and fears that come up. So the simplest way to do that is to start with the sentence lead. I can't have love because. So you may even want to write that at the top of your paper. I can't have love because. And you can pause this video and finish this part or just start writing them down. I can't have love because. I can't have love because. You may have things about your body or your history or the, the way you look or the pains you've had from the past or something someone told you growing up. Like there's all sorts of things that may be in your field. And I'm not saying you have to make up ones if you don't have them, but just noticing what tends to be part of the chatter that holds you back. 
So what is it that holds you back? So list those out if you need more time, pause the video. And then we'll begin with our craft project. And let me show you what the final product looks like. We, you may have seen these before. Yeah, so they are, um, some people call these God's eyes. But what I love about them is that they're like a doubt catcher, almost like a dream catcher, but a doubt catcher. And so as we create this, we will be in the process of deactivating these doubts and these fears. So how do you do this? And how do we do this from a place of reverence and honoring of you? So first you'll need to pull out the sticks that you collected around camp. So, you know, you may have two, I used three. I think that's kind of fun. Um, and you're gonna want to cross them over. So I'm just gonna show you with two, but if you have three, it's the same process. And you're gonna wanna secure the center. So I just cut a smaller piece of yarn and you wrap it around the center. Can I do this where you can see it? Maybe, maybe not. I just sort of wrap it around and get to a place where it's holding them together. And then you wanna tie a little knot. So I'm gonna tie a knot down here. Okay, so then you end up with something like this. So where it's tied in the middle and it's, it's holding them together. That's your framework. This is like the, the loom that you will be weaving on. Then you want to start with one of your yarns. So you were invited to bring a couple different yarns with you. And I'm going to start with this one. My yarn is a little messy. Um, and you'll get the end. And you'll just tie it to one of the sticks. Do a little knot as you tie it and you're pushing it into the center and you will have a front side and a back side. So, I'm deciding that, you know, this side with this knot on it is the back side. And now we're going to look at this list of I can't have love because. And as you look at this list and you're aware of the energy that's probably coming up as you look at these items, I can't have love because, I can't have love because. And as you're aware of that energy, just be present with it. And then we're going to begin to wrap this yarn around the sticks. So at first it's kind of hard to see. So I'm just going to start this by, you want to have it going um, the same way every time. So I am reaching over to a stick and I'm wrapping it around the stick and then I am keeping this wrapping from the top underneath. So the underneath part is towards me. And so I'm gonna do a couple wraps before we start the process. So you can do that too. And you just wanna come over the top of the stick, wrap around the stick, over the top of the stick, wrap all the way around the stick, over the top, wrap around, and you're just lining up the yarn where right at the top of the last line of it so that it starts building and weaving. And in a minute or two, you're gonna be able to see this. And then I will share with you 
the clearing process that you can be doing at the same time. I just want you to be able to see a little of this. So, okay, so as we have that wrapping around, and this is just, we can even cut off the dangling thread from the beginning. And so as you're considering each of these, I can't have love because when you're bringing up that energy, then when you do the wrap, that's the deactivation. The wrap is the deactivation. And that is what I would say would be the destroy and uncreate everything that keeps that in place. And then you're tying around the stick. So, you know, as you're aware of each of these items, and maybe some of these items will want a couple wraps, a couple winding around to just feel like it's deactivated within you and you can notice the energy and just being present with, you know, I destroy every, destroy and uncreate everything that keeps that in place. And when I say destroy and uncreate everything that keeps that in place, it's like destroying means that you, because most people are like destroy, I don't want to destroy anything. Destroying means that you are going to that point of when you decided that in your consciousness. So you don't have to remember the day or who made you think that or what occurred even, but you go to that point of creation in your being and you're just, you're, you're exploding that, you're deactivating that. And then the uncreating piece is stopping anywhere within your body or your being where you're kind of efforting to keep that in place. Oftentimes, you know, we have these like unconscious security blankets that actually don't even make sense. In fact, they're irrelevant to us as an adult. So destroying and uncreating these places, these spaces, because all of the I can't have loves, I don't even have to read your list to know that they aren't actually valid anymore. They, they never were, but they serve some kind of purpose at some point, and they are not valid. So we're doing this ritual, this process, this this um, destroying and uncreating all of the energies that keep these in place on our page. So I really encourage you to give this a space for you. Take your time as you're doing it. I'm going a little faster just showing you, but taking your time as you're just using this as the deactivation of these things. And then as this is woven in, like as you deactivate each of these layers of I can't have love, you begin to have clarity. So this becomes like this eye of being able to see the truth. So you're deactivating these and each time you're deactivating either a portion of the energy or all of it, depending on what you're sensing and perceiving, you begin to create space to see differently. And how does it get any better than that? So keep going and noticing with each wrap, how much release is occurring, acknowledging that space, acknowledging the relaxation. I noticed when I did this, there was just a lot of relief. And in some points it was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. And like he, 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 like sometimes giddiness occurs, but whatever it is for you, like give yourself that space to 
deactivate those things. The other cool thing that this can do, and I encourage you to play with this. This, this yarn is actually so pretty because it has multiple colors. Um, if you wanna switch yarns, so I like to do this. You can switch modes too. If you switch yarn, and I can do that right now. If you wanna switch yarns, you can also do a process of affirming. So you can do another list of, I can have love because, and then you switch the yarn and bring in a different aspect of expanding. So you can have it turn to deactivation or you can have it turn to, to conscious creation and, and magnification of whatever it is that you are asking for. So beginning to do another round, if you would like, of I can have love because. So then you just start weaving with this new color. I can have love because. I can have love because. And you do want to cut off the little ties underneath so that it doesn't make it so complicated. Um, I can have love because. And then I can have love because. And then just keep going with that. I can have love because. And this is really pretty to like really watch it come together. And and then you can choose to do whatever, like in the end, I actually added a little space. I gave it some space. And then just a really powerful creation for seeing things clearly. So, um, and then I would invite you when you're finished, when you get to the point where you feel, where you feel complete, clear, expanded, and you wanna wrap it up, leave um, an extra amount of yarn so that you have the ability to hang it. Cause this is something that you can hang in a window. Maybe you put it on a plant in your house or on your Christmas tree or yeah, wherever you want. Um, I'm gonna hang that in my office and let this be a reminder of you and your truth. And that, you know, all of the doubts and fears can just go into it. Even if you're not doing the wrapping process, you can let it be that catcher of the doubts and fears. So have fun with this. I am so grateful to have you here at camp. Share with me in the group, come share, post. What was your experience like? How did it feel when you were complete? Please post pictures of your, your creations. I'm excited to see. There's so much, like if you add more sticks, add a bunch of colors, you can have so much fun with this. And I'm looking forward to celebrating you for that. <sighs> Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you really soon. Bye everyone. Have a great day at camp.